In this video, I'm going to show you how to land a college commitment before your senior year using my academy without having to rely on any random baseball guru, any bad information that's out there on social media, and programs that flat out stink. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to land a college commitment, know what it takes to play at that next level, and also what these college coaches are looking for. Just so I'm not wasting anybody's time here, this is only for high school baseball players who are dedicated, who are driven, and who want to play at that next level. So if you're not currently in high school, you're not serious about the game of baseball, and you don't want to play in college, my academy is probably not the right fit for you. I encourage you to click away from this video and watch all of my content. You'll get a ton of value, I promise. My academy is different because we not only take the physical side of things very seriously, but also the mental side with our pro level education. You probably tried some random workouts before, some underqualified personal trainers. Stop it, get some help. And even some private lessons where all you get out of it is a simple good job. That didn't work because of the lack of structure, experience, and passion for the game. In my program, we do things differently. We teach players the game. We teach them how to do the right things, as well as gain the drive which is an essential fundamental if you wanna play at that next level. You might be skeptical and think I'm just some random guy on the internet, but here is my baseball resume. I played six years with the St. Louis Cardinals organization, one year with the San Diego Padres organization. I committed to a D1 school in the ACC right after my junior year of high school and have played with or against some pretty cool dudes. I started with private lessons back in 2019. In 2020, I wanted to do remote work, but I had no clue on how to do this. Last year, I started training 60 athletes through my workout programs, and some have moved on to the next level. I show your player how the game should be played with correct instruction so they can play in college and beyond. Imagine them getting to college their freshman year, and they already are such a polished, fundamental player who earns a spot in the lineup. In the summer and fall after my sophomore year of high school, I would conduct two a days. My high school had a really great program in the summertime, which would usually span from 9 a.m. until noon, but I didn't stop there. After resting for more than a few hours, after dinner, I would go to the local YMCA and put in another two hour workout. Neither my mom or dad forced me to do this. This was the drive that I had in the middle of my high school years to get better. I knew exactly what I wanted and I knew it didn't come easy. So why wouldn't you join my Mendoza Baseball Academy? Your athlete is already working hard. They just need the right guidance to get to that next level. So if you're a high school baseball player and want to land a college commitment before your senior year without having to put any extra work in, go ahead and down below, you'll see the link to book a call with me. You can go over your situation and how I could potentially help you land a college commitment. If you're the right fit, we can get started immediately. If you're not currently in high school though, watch my content, you'll get a ton of value and you'll learn even more. At this point, you have two options. Try to figure this out all by yourself and keep searching for that right coach. Or you can work with me and learn from all of my experiences and failures. So now I'm going to take you through a live look on what it looks like on the inside of Mendoza Baseball Academy. So every student is going to have their own portal, which is going to show all the resources that are available to them. As you can see, the Platinum Accelerator, this is where you're going to see your monthly workout programs for every phase, for every month, and under downloads, you'll be able to download that PDF and save it to your phone or desktop for easy access. As you can see, the workout programs are very detailed, and I don't know if you can tell, but each of those workouts has a clickable link. As you can tell, each day is marked with which day to perform it, as well as what the type of workout should be done. So once we get out of there, we can go back into the portal, which shows all the products or the dashboard, if you will. And this is going to be a live look on what one of our courses looks like, the Velo Throwing Program and Arm Care course. So as you can see, there's a ton of lessons which show a ton of value to you and your player. I like to use GIFs as examples to be able to visualize it. I'm definitely a visual learner, so I'm talking through all of that content alongside with you. The Pro Defense course is very similar to the Velo Throwing Program where I talk through presentations. The College Commitment Blueprint comes with the email templates, the outreach strategies, which is a 20 minute video, an editing course 
for some of you as well as some social media training and also how to deal with post commitment. So as you can see, this is the exact strategy that I would use if I was a junior in high school that really wanted to get seen. These are the outreach templates for DM as well as emails. So there's a ton of value in that college commitment blueprint. The clubhouse, this was also previously recorded, so it's not a ton of action. Right now we have a time of recording. We have, I think, five or six members in the academy so far, but we have some fun challenges to keep each other accountable, as well as some circles, which are basically group chats. These circles are either the general chat or the mechanical breakdowns. A lot of people will think it comes down with the rain. This is one of my dad's favorite quotes or that it will just be given to them. A lot of people might think online baseball training doesn't work the same as private lessons. A lot of people also think maybe it's not the right time. Now is the right time. There will never be a perfect time to sign up for my academy. If you're looking for it, you're simply just not going to find it. The successful players I've been able to play alongside with make the time perfect for things that they value. They don't wait around for the right time. You don't think it's the right time because you have the season coming up, Maybe you have a showcase coming up, and that's your reason why you don't want to join today. Professional baseball players do not take time off. To play at the next level, you have to put your time and energy into what matters. And training and developing your skills is something that is a year-round process if you want to play at the next level. So when is the right time? Right now. You have to be a go-getter, and hopefully your player is a go-getter too. They also think that remote training just simply does not work the same as private lessons. So I'll be the first to tell you, number one, it does not come down with the rain. Nothing is given to you. And have you tried remote training before? If you haven't tried it, how do you know you don't like it? Let's paint a picture. Let's say your son is complaining that he's very, very hungry and you cook a full feast of food and present it on the table, but he doesn't eat the food. Later on, he still complains that he's hungry. Now in that situation, who is it on? Now let's take that same scenario, but instead you spoon feed him all of the food. This is very similar to private lessons. The drive isn't coming from the player, it's coming from you, the parent. Put it on your player to step up to the plate and create those habits for himself. So far, how has the program been for you, Santi? It's been good. It's I've seen a lot of improvements in myself. Yeah. Go uh, go a little bit deeper into the program. What what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Are there anything spe specifically that you know you've fallen and gravitated towards? I like that. I know when I get to when I get into the gym, I get to like I know what I'm doing, and I know I have my gym session planned out before. And I don't have to think and guess and try different machines and stuff. So it's you your plan, like yes. So you like that clarity, right? The the clarity yeah. of you already have that plan in place. It's just basically following that plan, following that prescription of drills, of exercises that, you know, have been handed to you. You just have to fulfill the work that is involved. That's 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 good stuff. So, you know, as far as going into it, Pete, you can you can answer this one if you'd like. Before this program have you guys done any type of remote or online baseball training before in the past no we haven't done any remote or, or anything online before this was a completely new experience for us you know we saw it on tiktok at first and he saw it and he sent it my way and you know i, I don't know there was something about the way that you uh, presented it that we we figured we would try it and what do we have to lose right <clears throat> Yeah. So as far as your expectations beforehand, were, were you pretty skeptical? Did you think, you know, what is this? What's actually going to be delivered after joining into the academy? What was what was your overall impression before joining in? Yeah, I mean, like anything, I think we were skeptical. We were skeptical um, just because it was such a reasonable price as well. And then uh, once once we dove into some of the content, uh, we realized how how much quality was there, how good it was, and and the quality of it. And I think um, in addition to that was the way that you kind of worked with him and you set expectations for him, and it wasn't about you know, hey, let's try this. It was like, hey, these are the things I'm expecting from you, and and I expect them to be done. And I think that was a big part of why we enjoyed the program as well. It wasn't just expectations from me; it was expectations from you. And I think. I think that's what made the difference. So how how has that been for you? <laughs> yeah, question, I, I learned a lot. 
<laughs> beforehand, so beforehand, did did you have that understanding that that's what baseball players do? Not really. It's, that program has made me like, it's kind of made me feel like a little like an eagerness to to go out and do something and not just like wait for the team practice and do things on my own. I, I think the other important piece of it is just as as his dad. I can tell him till I'm blue in the face that this needs to be done. And sometimes it doesn't resonate coming from the dad. Sometimes it needs to come from a pro ball player. I mean, I, I don't have the, I don't have the uh, experience or the clout that a pro ball player has. And so it's definitely different from coming from you than from me. So how has that been the overall teaching style in the courses? You, you know how I talk over certain examples. Are you able to visualize it a little bit better as far as you know my teaching style? <laughs> I remember those gifts and just next next day or so when we go out to practice to field ground balls, I remember that gift and just implement everything I, from that video into my into my game. So one of the one of the ways that we used that was uh, we would drive about forty five minutes to an hour to practice, and so as we were driving, I would have him watch the videos before practice, and that instead of just killing time in the car doing nothing. He's getting information, and then he's able to get to practice and starting to apply those, you know, those techniques that you talked about in the video. I think the other thing about those videos was that the uh, the insight from a pro ball player, you know, they would be in a huddle and they would ask Santiago a question, like, well, they would ask the group a question, and he would answer all of them, but he would answer them at a high level based on what he heard from the video. So. I know Santiago was telling me he went to an infielders camp uh, over Christmas and he kept answering all the all the questions and they were actually surprised at how in depth some of the answers were that he was given. I think the other thing that it's done for him is that he's he's been a catcher for so long and not only has it opened that defensive course not only has it opened his eyes to uh, being other you know doing other things but opening the possibilities of playing other positions as well. And so now he's he's like, you know, my story isn't written as a catcher. It might be a shortstop. It might be a second base. Uh, and in fact, he had to fill in, in in his brother's team. His brother's uh, a little bit older than he is. And they were playing like in a 17U tournament. And he ended up playing second base in a 17U tournament, you know, um, because he's he's got some of that information from there. I think the last thing that I want to say, though, is that I think um, when we signed him up with your program, I think his uh, sense of urgency changed for working out and then his attention to detail changed. And there was a change in him as a ball player overall. I mean, there was definitely a different level and the return of investment on it was, was, it was surprising how, how fast it happened. And I think, you know, to your point, like a lot of folks don't realize what the commitment is, but when you actually do the work, you know, you see the results. Hear you guys' story, and hopefully I'm able to see your progression through your career throughout the next couple of years, and just hopefully see you turn into an absolute beast, you know, out there on the field, doing your thing, walking around the field, and playing with just that swagger and confidence. Getting to play college baseball is very tough. Only 7% of high school baseball players can say they do this. If I could help you land that commitment, what would that do for you? How would your life look? You would definitely get some sick college gear for free. You could possibly even land some NIL deals. You'll also proudly be able to wear your college sweatshirt around your high school for the next couple of years. So if you wanna land a college commitment, then book a call down below and we can get started as soon as possible. At the end of the day, it's your career.